In this video, we're going to talk about factor analysis and principal component analysis. I'm going to explain to you briefly what is factor analysis and I will be running principal component analysis using SPSS and I would be interpreting the output uh, one by one and in this video particularly, we will be looking into the KMO and Partless test. So what is factor analysis here? Yeah. Factor analysis is a technique to reduce a large number of variables into fewer number of factors. So you can see here, we have a number of items or variables and what factor analysis is going to do, factor analysis is going to group the item into smaller number of factors. Yeah, Because multiple observed variables have similar patterns of response because they are associated with a particular latent variables so we had almost eight or nine items over there just now and they were reduced to three factors so what we have done large number of variables are reduced to fewer number of factors next to run principal component analysis we'll be using spss so let's get into spss now so using this data set yeah you can see i have uh, nine items over here so what you do you go to analyze you go to dimension reduction, you go to factor. So what we are going to do, we're going to select all these uh, items into the section variable here. So you click shift and you just click on the last variable here and click this arrow and all your variables are already here. Yeah. Next, what you do, you go to descriptives. So in descriptive, these are the two main things that I want to tick here. Yeah? In your correlation matrix, I want to tick KMO and anti image yeah done you click continue and in extraction so you see there's already a default setting which is the principal component so we will maintain the principal component um, i would want it to display the scree plot yeah and the eigenvalue is already one and the maximum iteration is 25 yeah so for now we can maintain 25 first yeah if our results are not sufficient then we can actually increase the iteration to either 50 100 yeah so we will do that later yeah if it's necessary yeah most of the time it shouldn't be an issue so this is what we want yeah can you see our eigenvalue here is one continue next we will go to rotation yeah so in your rotation what we are going to do we are going to first yeah try with very max first yeah you tick on very max and your display is fine yeah, and rest is good. You click continue. Yeah, so this is what you have to do at the uh, first stage first. Yeah, so we are done. We have done and setting everything. What you do is that you go and click OK. So this is the output yeah, that is being generated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain all this output to you one by one. Yeah, and interpret all these values to you. From the output table, in this video, I'm going to explain to you KMO and Butler's test. So let's go into KMO first. So you can see the value of KMO here is 0 0.641. And the value must be greater than 0 0.5. So we are fine with that. We have no issues. And the next one is Butler's test. And the value here is significant. Yeah, The value is less than 0 0.05 which indicates that the items are significantly correlated. So what I'll be doing is that in my next video, I'll be explaining to you on anti-image correlation. So look out for the video in part two. 